In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix disk write error on Steam. So in case you're getting this error or something very similar while trying to download and install your games via Steam, this is how to fix it. Now, first you want to go to your desktop and you want to look for your Steam icon, okay? So just look for it. And then you want to right click on that uh, app and look for properties. Then go inside properties, pull them up, and you want to click compatibility up here inside these tabs. Then you want to make sure disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator are both checked. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you want to click apply and okay. Okay. So these are the first two things you must do. Now, once you've done that, you want to open up your steam, just like I have over here. And you want to go up here to steam, click on the steam and go into settings in here. You first want to go under downloads here on the left, scroll down through the menu and look for clear download cache. Okay. You want to click clear cache and then you want to click confirm. Okay. Now, as you can see, it says this will clear your local download cache and restart steam. You will need to log into steam again. Do you wish to continue? Just press confirm, let steam do its thing and then log back in and see if that fixes your issue. If it doesn't, you also want to go to storage over here, just below downloads. You want to click those three dots just next to this. And then you want to click repair library. When you click repair library, steam will automatically try to repair the library. And as you can see, it has been done because I probably had no errors right now. That's why it was so fast. But if you have any errors, it will fix them automatically and it will take a few minutes to complete. Now, if this completes as fast as it did for me, that's probably a good sign because it means nothing was wrong and the issue is not laying here. Now, once you've done that, we've done pretty much everything inside Steam that we can do and all the other things will be from now on in outside Steam. What you want to first do is look for uh, this search icon here in Windows and click and type in update. You want to go to check for updates inside system settings and you want to click check for updates. Windows will now check for current updates and uh, some of these updates, uh, just run them through, let Windows do its thing and restart and they may fix the issue. As you can see, I have an update, click download and install. It will automatically download, install your update on Windows. And this is actually one of the things that could solve your issue. Now, if it doesn't, we can do another thing and that is go into search down here and type in Defender and look for Windows Defender Firewall. Not anything else. There's a bunch of stuff over here. Look for Windows Defender Firewall. In here, you want to click up here where it says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Okay. What you want to do is click over here and then you want to allow to change settings. So in case you're not on the admin user on your, of your PC, you're going to have to allow to change settings. And then scroll down here and look for Steam. Okay. As you can see, I can't see it yet. There it is. Steam. Okay. In case it's not, in case it is there for you, you first want to make sure it has checked with private and public. So both checks as it, that, as it does for me. If it doesn't have both checks, just make sure there's the check mark on both. But if you can't see Steam at all, you want to click allow another app, click browse, go inside this PC down here inside the C drive, program files x86. And then you want to look for steam, which is over here. And in here, you want to scroll down until you see steam. It only says steam. For me, it says steam exe because I have these extensions available. If you don't, it only says steam, click on it, press open, and this will add steam to the list. And then you simply want to make uh, sure that check marks are basically allowed on both. Okay. So that's that. What you then want to do is exit uh, this thing and restart your computer. Okay. And once you've restarted your computer, see if this issue has been fixed for you. Okay. Now, if this issue has been fixed, uh, very good. That's very cool. But if it hasn't been, there may be a bigger underlying problem that we cannot uh, diagnose. And you may even have an issue with your drive to which you're trying to download the game. So, I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.